Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Grace, and today I am going to read a Bible story. Today, the Bible title is The King and the Kingdom. The Sermon on the Mount. Let's read. Jesus traveled teaching about the kingdom of heaven and crowds followed him. They didn't know yet that Jesus is the king. But he saw, taught them how to live as people of his kingdom. So Jesus was preaching to the people. And he also told him how to live as the people of the kingdom. The people do good, said Jesus, because of the good in their hearts. People do evil when evil is in their heart. God wants to make your heart like his heart. So Jesus was telling that when are in our heart there is evil, we will do evil things. And also when we will do good things, there will be good, a good heart. So God wants us to be as his heart. That means we should be good. We should have a good heart, right? <laughs> Did Jesus teach the crowds how to live as the people of his kingdom? Yes, Jesus teach the people how to live in his kingdom. Don't, don't worry about things like food and clothes. So Jesus put God first in your life. Obey Him. Trust Him. He will make sure that you have what you need. So Jesus was saying, don't worry about eating and for clothes. If you put God first in your life, then you will you will have what you need. So we should put God out in our life. We should put God first. Jesus saw this prayer. Father, your name is in hol is holy, risen on earth like you, risen in heaven. Meet your needs today. Help us obey you. All power is yours forever. So Jesus tell the people our prayer, prayer, because this. Like people was confused what to pray. So God, Jesus told them how to pray. That is, Father, God in your name is holy. 
God's name is Holy, right? Your name is Holy, risen on earth like you. Risen in heaven, meet your needs today. Help us obey you. All power is yours forever. Like, this prayer is like praising God. Then she just told the story. One man built his house on a rock. A big storm came because the house was built on rock. It did not fall down. So Jesus told that day. So Jesus was telling a story of two men. One Jesus is telling one man has built a house on a rock. It will be hard to make the house on the rock, right? And also when question reigns on earth and has the power to give us what we need true God has a power to give us what we need and raise from heaven right another man built his house on a softy shifting sand a big story came because his house was built on the sand it fell down which would crash so another man built his house on the rock and a soft piece shifting sand like when you put the water in the sand it it is shifting right like that that person's house fell down with a crash. <laughs> the things I teach you are like the rock. Said Jesus, put my words into an action, and you will be like the man who built the house on the rock. So we should. So Jesus is saying that we should like put Jesus' word in an action because. If we only hear that, like, if someone is saying some to one child, like, be good, be faithful, and that that child is not being faithful and good, then we cannot say that to him, a good child like that. So we should put Jesus in words like in an action. Question, if we obey the words of Jesus, we will be like a man who built his house on a rock. Number one. Yes, to the Eric the Bible story. Did you enjoy? Uh, so we should put Jesus' words in the action. Jesus' words is like a rock, like who have built the house on the rock. 
Yes, today Eric the Bible story did enjoy it. And next time, let's see you next time. Bye!